copy you, but put you to a seven. And we'll make you... Yeah, I want this swept up now. Otherwise my dudes aren't going to be happy. And then if I do need to trap some in here, I can do in theory. It's just, it's too hot in here for now. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, meanwhile, we've just had another little baby. So we should be good down here. And I think I'm going to move this bastard. Uh, let's move it up here. Let's put it under that one. Uh, this should be active again soon, I think, shouldn't it? Yeah, 0 0.9 cycles, that's fine. I just wanted to give these a little bit of CO2 in the meantime so they didn't just die. Uh, so that's that. Uh, you can be whatever. <clears throat> Maybe I should make some of these wild. Uh, we can do that with a drop-off point, can't we? Uh, maybe a drop-off point over here. There's a lot of micro need on this, isn't there? Let's turn that down to a 1. We'll make a new drop-off point here. And we'll make it a 9. Like so. And then we'll capture some more of these slicksters and we'll make them wild. Just so they can feck off into the wild. And because you've all been talking about domestication so much. Can somebody collect this egg, please? Please. Wait, have I done this as the wrong type of slickster? No, mountain slickster larvae egg. That's right. Why are you no wrangle? Why are you no take egg? Sweet. Nine. Move it here. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Vixen, good evening. How are you? Sorry, I didn't see you come in. Uh, most animals adapt. We make the surroundings adapt. We make the surroundings adapt. Yeah. I think the Earth will eradicate us sooner or later. Yeah, probably. In Australia, they have so many wild cats that it's a sport to go out and shoot them. <laughs> Newtson, <laughs> in with the knowledge bomb all of a sudden, out of nowhere, from downtown with the knowledge bomb. <laughs> Fucking hell, buddy, welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, shit, what did I walk into? Yeah, yeah, you probably came in at a bit of a rough time, Vixen. We're talking about critters and domestication and... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a sport to shoot wildcats in Australia. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, fuck me. Fucking Australia, this is the best. Ah, oh, tickle me right up. Yeah, we'll just turf out a load of these slicksters down here. Um, wild as fuck. Why not? And we'll just leave them doing their merry thing. We don't need the eggs. We've still got shit loads of food. Um, yeah, we're fine. Uh, I think I'm going to turn this pump off for a little bit, if I can. Uh... I didn't put sensor in because I'm a danger, so let's just disable that. We should have a shit ton of oil in here. Uh, what's going on with our fishies? Overcrowded. Too many fishies. We need to move the eggs. We've got too many fish eggs.
Too many eggs is... Although some of these fishies are going to die soon. The thing is, how big, how big do, can this tank be? Like it doesn't have, I'm not, I'm not trying to get a room bonus. So can I have this as a massive room and it doesn't matter? No one else is broken all the time when the oxygen's coming in. I built by copper. Uh, X team, you're probably, if you're building your exosuits out of copper, then you'll get an overheat bonus if you pump in oxygen straight from electrolyzers. So, exosuit docks, I build mine out of gold. The reason being, I generally, I'm not in this playthrough, but I normally pump in very hot oxygen. So, if your oxygen's coming in at like 70 odd degrees, you'll end up cooking your exosuit docks. So, just build them out of gold and it should be fine, mate. Generally. Um. In Russia, wildcats have a sport to go out and hunt you <laughs> in Mother Russia. Oh, Jesus. Why does he put airflow tiles all the way around the inside of his water tanks? Um, it's because of pressure. Um, airflow tiles, these are overpressurized tanks. So in these tanks, we've got massive amounts of liquid. Um, the airflow tiles are not affected by pressure damage. So we can overpressurize our tanks and we get crazy amounts of liquid in them. So. Ah, oh, you're very welcome, buddy. No problem at all. Um, what was I looking at a minute ago? I was meant to be doing something. Uh, shit the bed. Let's make you priority one. We'll turf those eggs out of there. We'll keep capturing some more of these slicksters that are floating around down here. Because they're all just going to be pissed off and they're all just going to die. So we'll do this. We'll release some more into the wild. We're doing a kindness. Uh, this should now be back to being good. When all these eggs hatch, we are good to go. And that's what I need. This seems to be keeping up nicely, which is good. Uh, what about everything else in the base? What's going on up here? Fuck! I've got too many sage hatches again. How does this keep happening? Is one of these bastards wild? Tame, tame, tame. They're all going to hatch some eggs, aren't they? Right, let's find the oldest one. And let's just kill him. 51. We've got a couple of 50 year olds. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh, fuck. It's because we're keeping our eggs in this fucking thing. Penis. Um. Ah, uh, they're hatching out of my loader. Right, let's put some conveyor rails in and send this to the kitchen. It's, it's fucking egg time. Um. We figured it out. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, we'll do something like that. In fact, you know what? Let's just send them to their doom instead. How about that? Oh, I'm a fool. Mm, probably need a ladder in the middle here, don't we? Yeah, I've got a shitload of jobs mastered. Let's figure that out. Uh, ban he. Become a Jew. Better engineer. Uh, Harold, I think you're probably pretty donezo on a lot of this stuff. Let's put him down here. Uh, Marie, she's doing that. 
Um, Crossming, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? How's it going? Right, Marie's done that. Marie's done that. Marie's been busy. Holy shit. Uh, she's not done that. Very good. Cool. Uh, I've not been. I've not been reading. Sorry. I think the Paku overcrowding is based on towers of liquid. Well, I'm just thinking, like the, the Paku fish, we don't we don't actually go for a stable, do we? So technically, this is a miscellaneous room. So can it be fucking huge, or is that what you're saying? Like we still need x amount of tiles of liquid. Like I don't know how many f how how much liquid space a fish needs. I mean, I could I could just cook some of the eggs. Uh, Newtson, thank you for the follow, buddy, and thank you for the cat-related genocidal comments. Um, it's very, it's always welcome here. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cube died at cycle one six five, so it could be better though. Oh dear. Well, are you new to the game? Are you still picking up new things? If so, don't feel bad about it because you won't die at cycle one six five again. You know, take take what killed you and let it make you stronger, or rage quit and uninstall the game. Both, both are potentially absolutely fine. Um, right, I'm getting tired of this cross training malarkey, but holy shit, we'll have a dupe super force soon, one day. Okay. Now, I was going to build like a an ice room here, wasn't I? I get too caught up in fanning about with hatchlings and other such stuff. Let's try this again. Let's see if we get any better this time. So we'll do like we did before with the old door. So quite, I do quite like this. I'm not convinced how great it is, but what the fuck am I doing? I'm not convinced how great it is, but I do quite like it. I think if we put it to one second, I've had better success with this this little setup. So we'll do that. We'll get rid of this little ladder. And we'll do we'll do something like that. If any water falls down here, it's not the end of the world. Ah, got itchy nose. <laughs> Stop feeding them and make them wild. Uh, which ones? Which make which wild? Sorry, uh, Pothold Saturn. Thank you for the host, buddy. Much appreciated. My favourite move is to rage quit, but then just start up another game in an hour or so. Oh, so it's the temporary sulk. Yeah. Uh, food shortage. I actually found your video on YouTube about the steamer. Use the hydrogen to cool water from a steam vent that I put in my base to keep it from radiating heat. But I ran out of dirt on my meal wood. We're going to jump in and see if I can pick up some more ideas for growing food. Uh, Crossman, totally, mate. Uh, we are currently living off predominantly mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms and meat. And, well, you can see our food up here. We've got 1.4 million calories at the minute, so we're actually pretty good for food. We've got plenty of fried mushrooms, barbecue, got some omelettes. Uh, we've still got a few meal lice kicking around from the start. Uh, yeah, just basically a bit of everything, mate. I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the best thing to do anymore is just stick to one food. I think you want as many foods as possible. I think that's what it comes down to. Uh, so mix it up a little bit, using what you've got. Use a lot of the wild food as well. Like I've tried to leave as many pincher pepper plants around as I can, just leaving them wild. And if we ever get some crops off them, great. If not, meh, nothing lost. Like there, we just literally got four pincher pepper nuts for total free. So uh, yeah, I like to do little things like that really, mate. Probably some uh, best tips I can give you, really. Use the wild crops. Always use them. Make them your bitch. Uh, right, let's do some of this. I want to have a little explore over here. Oh, shit. Found a new ice biome. Beautiful. Uh, 
I might go a little bit higher with this actually. Let's go up here a bit, because there's a bit of iron and stuff here as well. I want to get some of this algae, because our fishies are eating all of our algae. Uh, and yeah, I'll crack into this ice biome like here, maybe. So let's get all this crap dug out. A little bit of water here. Where's that going to go? Rage quit cycle. Twenty-three idiots chasing a piece of leather. Oh, football! I can't expect Max to like something as trivial as football. What are you talking about? It makes no sense. Okay, little guys, how are you getting on? Come on, I really want you to be more, be more slicksters. That's what I want. It seems to me like some of these should have hatched out by now. Should we do a little save and load? Because I've got like this little troll piece of pipe and stuff that's pissing me off. So let's just do a quick load. See if some of these eggs pop out. Yeah, anything you want to ask, by the way, Crossman. Anything you're struggling with, just ask, buddy. If I don't see it, and if I don't react, there's plenty of people in the chat that know the game just as well as me, so... Anything that you uh, are struggling with, fire away. <laughs> oh, Christ. I've been bad at reading the chat tonight. I think now that there's more shit for me to keep an eye on in the game, it's even harder than ever. Like, taking the time to think, oh, shit, I need to go and check my stables and make sure I've not killed off all my hatches. Or Like before, we nearly killed all our glossy Dracos. Or not killed them all, but I was about to murder all the ones that we'd hatched out. So... Uh, food and power with broken wires. Uh, I do have a video in on my YouTube. There's playlists. So if you go on my YouTube, there's a playlist called Tips and Tricks with Life. Uh, in that playlist, I do lots of little, little build videos. Now, there's a video on there. I think it's number one in the series. It's a bit dated now, but the same principles still apply on power. So the way that you need... The way that you lay out your transformers and how power is generated. The wiring is slightly different in the game now, but you can, you can apply the same principles. So... I'll show you our power setup in a minute if you like. Uh, food, I'm probably not the best example to follow because I genuinely try and use every single muck root on the map before I start before I start growing food. But mushrooms are my go-to food nowadays. Um, I really like the simplicity of mushrooms. Um, dig out some slime, make a, a carbon dioxide pit, um, and build yourself a big mushroom room. This is ours. We've had this since pretty early in the game. Um, kind of works for me. Lots and lots of uh, delicious, delicious mushrooms. Uh, that's how I like to do it. Uh, we've got a farming station in here to uh, obviously speed up the growth a little bit. Um, I just want to keep an eye on this for a second. See if any of these eggs hatch out. Yes, excellent. We have another one. Uh, so we'll drop that down to four. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, bambino. Um, other tips I could give you. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, realistically, don't don't rush. Really, be take your time at the start of the game. Uh, there's certain things that I normally very much don't rush. Ah, oh, shit. We had a mass explosion from here as well. Ah, oh, I've got a bajillion shy nymphs. Oh no. How many was that? How many are there? Hold on, I just want to see these disperse. They just had some food, I want to see them disperse. Oh, Christ. Okay, let's... Um, oh, fuck it, we'll just leave that open. It's fine. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I normally, I'd normally take my time. So, 
Uh, I don't rush research. I take research very, very slowly because I don't see the point in finishing your research when you might not have the means to use that research for 100 cycles, right? So take your time of research. Food, you can always slap down a load of meal lice, get meal lice going just to keep you going for now, and then move to mushrooms or something as quick as you can. I normally avoid bristle blossoms entirely until I'm at a point where I've capped a guys and I've got loads and loads of water. Even then, quite often, I'll, I'll ignore them for a whole playthrough. I just don't really, I don't really use them that much. Um, obviously, now with all the critters in the game, you get an awful lot of eggs and meat. So make use of that. Um, you know, farm your, farm the hatches and stuff that you need, and then eat the rest. Um, in terms of power, power is actually very simple in this game. Uh, this is probably going to be a little bit more convoluted than you probably need at the moment but power is very very simple all you need realistically is a main wire so i have i normally do a main heavy watt wire and on that heavy watt wire i'll have some batteries connected directly to the wire off that wire i then have transformers and those transformers each have a circuit on each of those circuits i have a smart battery Ideally, you want to use smart batteries as best as you can, uh, as frequently as you can, because they waste less electricity and generate less heat. Um, and that, that's it, basically. Each one of these conductive wire circuits is 2 kilowatts. Um, for every circuit thereafter, I just repeat the same thing. Smart battery, circuit, smart battery, circuit, smart battery, circuit. Um, you can go a little bit further, and you can start using automation between your transformers and your batteries. And likewise, the batteries on your main circuits, you can set up automation from them to your different power generation setups. So like here, I've got my coal gen set up. These coal gens are on this wire here that connects all the way back to this battery. When this battery falls below a certain percentage of charge, my coal gens kick on. Um, likewise, my other batteries are all assigned to different power production. So hydrogen power here, natural gas power here, and I'd do the same if I had petroleum power and things like that. Um, but yeah, just just really just go at your own pace. Don't be afraid to die. Play the game. If you learn something new every playthrough, then you'll soon get your head around it. It's the best, best thing I can recommend, really, buddy. Um, it just is what it is. Why are they not using this fridge? I don't understand. That's weird. This was priority one. That was priority nine. As soon as I emptied the fridge, they came and picked up the eggs immediately. But until that point, they wouldn't. That's a bit weird. Oh well. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think they might be running out of food. But this is going to start kicking out again soon, so that's nice. Oh. Not sure why they're all gathered here. It's a bit weird. There's a lot of weird mechanics with the critters at the moment. Weird behaviours that I don't really understand. But the fish, especially. I wonder if these are still polluting, um, creating water for me. They seem to be. So I don't know if I give a shit about them being overcrowded, truth be told. Even though they're all glum and miserable, they're still producing me water. If we look at this, we're getting, you know, maybe a couple of kilos a second. Which, you know, it's not a lot, but it's a bit of extra water every now and again. For free, from our slush geyser. I'm okay with that. Right, uh, meanwhile, let's do this. Uh, do I want to empty this out? I probably should. Let's do a bit more of a high priority sweep, because I want to get this cleared out now and tidied up. This is going to be active in four cycles, so it is time. Mm -hmm. I would love to see you stable build a sleep wheat farm. I've done it many times, Quixotic. We probably built maybe five or six of them on stream. Um, I need to fix this fucking room here. Uh, I've built quite a few of them, mate. Uh... 
you just you have to use aqua tuners now really or you could use the slush guys i suppose with the new radiant pipes building a, a sleep wheat farm should be an absolute doddle it should be really easy but to be fair as mex has pointed out there's so many in the wild um all i normally do is make sure i can access all my wild sleep wheat and my dupes can just pick it up as and when they need it i don't think i've how much sleep wheat have we got i mean we're not really using it at the minute but uh where is the seed isn't it too many things uh we've got 3400 sleep wheat grain as like a backup if we need it but not really doing anything with it yet so i, I i've stopped sort of building them truth be told it's not really bothered Right, I'm going to seal this up because I'm assuming some of these are going to be dying off soon. So we'll seal this room back up. Maybe I should put a couple of airlocks in here, you know. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Um, we'll do it on the same level. Do a couple of airlocks here, and then I can release these as well if I want. So if I want them to go that way, I can. If I want them to go out into the wild, they can. Put a little Atmos sensor in here as well. Why not? That'd be the nice thing to do, I think. I do like the idea of just having loads of shine bugs just floating around, just chilling in the wild. As long as they don't troll my base too much. If one comes in here, I'm going to kill it. But other than that, they can do what they want. And they're so cute. Look at them, the little things. Little shine nymphs. I don't mind feeding them a little bit of stuff as well. Not not going to be a grudge from that. Uh, so. Oh. Speak of the devils. Little Bambino. Out you go. Be free! Nice. Uh, you could also use the 350 tonnes of sand to transfer food water to clean water. Yeah, we don't care about sand. Yeah, we do have 353 tonnes of it. Ah, uh, shit. We're alright for sand, everyone. Uh, do I want to clean this out? Can I be asked sending hydrogen over here? Got a little bit of hydrogen here. Hmm. Fucking jobs mastery. This is boring the hole off me sorting this. Uh, Otto, get promoted. Don't bother me again. I need to steal another Weezwart from somewhere. Uh, it is hell for my dupes to get down here. Probably should start thinking about putting some more exosuits in. Um, where can I get another Weezwart from easily? Uh, maybe one from up here. I don't want to leave this guy there. We'll take... We'll take this fella. In fact, we could probably take this one. It's pretty chill up here nowadays. No, we'll leave this for now, because we are still shearing these. I don't know how many how many Drekos we've actually got. Down to four. I need to uh, catch some more of these bastards. Let's get these caught. Okay. How are we getting on in here? Alright, how are we at nine? Have we got another egg in here somewhere? Are we at nine? I thought I lowered this down. Uh, one, two. Oh, there's two here. There's three, four. Fuck.
shit, what's happening here? How have we got ten in here now? 